Bap, bap, bap. There's so many comedians where they feel like, um, and I don't, I don't want to say it's like, oh, so many, but like, there's the thing where like, well, if you're not spitting truth to power, if you're not tearing down the walls of democracy, what are you even doing on stage? And it's like, the thing that I really helped me during the pandemic, especially when I couldn't get on stage, especially when I was doing Zoom shows and I didn't want to do Zoom shows. And I remember showing up and seeing Dave Caldwell, the Denver super fan who goes to every freaking show that I've ever done at Comedy Works. I've seen him there so many times. He has a shotgun laugh that people either love or hate. And just seeing him in that Zoom and how him talking afterwards and being like, He's like, I used to go to shows every week and now I can't and I need something to fill that void. And it's like, oh, yeah, I forgot my fucking job. Yep. My job is to make this shitty place we live in better. And if I can do that a small little bit for a half an hour, an hour, 90 minutes, then I'm doing something positive in this world. I'm doing something that is worthwhile. And so you may get up there and be like, well, Ron just does jokes about rugrats or his family or butts or whatever. But I'm like, for if you come to my shows, my whole premise, my whole thing from beginning to end, from my openers to the music playlist that I pick out before shows, every mm -hmm. bit of it is designed for you to leave going, oh, I feel refreshed. I feel better. Joyful. Mm -hmm. I don't leave feeling bad about myself, feeling like I did something wrong, feeling like I vote. I hate the person next to me. I mean, it really is. It just it, it kind of breaks my heart and pisses me off to hear you say that because it's like it's never been our job. Yes, a lot of comedians that we respect have talked about politics and social issues. But like, you know, as someone that is a white woman, even me just being successful without making statements constantly is a triumph. Mm -hmm. Just a black comedian being rich and successful. You're already breaking down walls. Thank you so much. So knowing me, that I'm rich and successful. Yeah, <laughs> Like, you're like, I've done my part. It's all you people that got stuff that you didn't deserve. Why don't you work on the walls that need to be broken down? <laughs> the ones that you fucking parkour off of to benefit yourself? Like, why don't you do that work and allow us just, just to stay focused? That's what drives me nuts when I always get these fucking texts and calls from people who are like, hey, I hear Louis C.K. is performing in mm -hmm. Louisville. What do you think? I'm like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about I it? I don't work for the Louisville improv. Oh. I don't, I already have to work twice as hard to get half as far. It's not my job to mm -hmm. deal with the behavior of other people in my field. It's not yours either. Mm -hmm. And us just doing what we're doing in an honest, fearless, unique, original way, that's already breaking down walls. So yeah. how about you motherfuckers that built the walls? How about you tear them down so we can just stay funny? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? The same shit that oppressed us. It's not, you know, our job to take them down with comedy. And I guess it's just, it's already so revolutionary for people to actually pay money to see a woman and think she's funny. Mm -hmm. That let me just try to stay funny. Also, there's just a thing of like, there's only, I got only so many things to think about and focus on at, at the given time. Um, you can assume that if you have a cause that is worthwhile and positive that I am for you. But just because you don't see me speak about something mm -hmm. within that given week or that hour doesn't mean that I'm your enemy. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean that I'm like not for, but to uh have that Louis CK Grammy thing because I got a bunch of DMs about that would be like why aren't you speaking out about Louis CK winning a Grammy is a it affects your whole thing I'm like you're not gonna get me to care about the Grammy <laughs> <laughs> no matter who wins a fucking Grammy <laughs> <laughs>